Right, I'm just getting changed, ready for the uh, for the workout. I know this is going to be painful. We kick off with the mother of all circuit sessions. Come on, sir. Another 25 seconds to go. And get back nice and quick. Get in, get in, get in. Three, two, one, and time there. Well done. Woo! I need water. Yeah. I'll wrestle you for it. <laughs> I think you win. Uh, maybe I won't. <laughs> for you, when you're doing a workout like that, I mean, I was sort of watching you, and when we'd stop, you'd, t you'd have a bottle of water nearby. You know, once you come into elite sport, you, you just, it's a habit that you do. If you, you haven't taken enough water, do you, do you really notice it when you're actually doing something like this? Personally, for handball, when we're playing, because it's such a high reaction sport, you just notice that you're a, a split second off the pace. And in sort of elite sport, that's all it takes for a goal to be scored or someone to win the race before you. All I want for lunch is a glass of water. Oh. With hardly a moment to recover, the guys handed me over to their performance nutritionist, James Collins. He had something even worse in store for me. Oh, yeah, it's quite... It's a lot warmer. You can actually feel it hitting you. As yeah, you yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, a, this is kind of, you know, a hot summer's day. We've really tailored this environment now, and we're going to increase the intensity, so we're going to get some sweat out of you. Where are we at, Dallas? Six, nine. Keep it going. The heat in there soon got the sweat really pouring from me. I couldn't get out of there soon enough. Three, two, one. OK, wrap it up there. All right, finished the exercise for the day. Actually, my God, it was tough. Then it's my final weigh-in, and I repeat the reaction tests from earlier to see if there's any difference. Finally, I repeat the gentle jog, but though I'm running no faster than before, my heart rate is totally different. Oh, God, that feels good. This is a great visual to start with. Average heart weight, 154, pre-exercise. Yeah. Post, 170. That's quite 170, a... that's a big jump. This would be from the levels of dehydration and the reduced volume of your blood. So because my blood is thicker, my heart's having to work much harder to pump it, and it's also slowing everything down in my body, which is obvious from my reaction tests. Let's talk about the cognitive scores, because I think probably ultimately, for people watching this at home, that's kind of what, what it all boils down to, really, how, how we function if we are dehydrated. On the whole, across the board, as we'd expect, reaction times were significantly down, almost a third. Wow, as much a as that? third, yeah, exactly. The other significant thing was hand-eye coordination. Yeah. Significantly down also. So, again, probably for everyone, the general public, these are two really big things now that have an impact, you know, off possibly after the gym when they're driving home and maybe even going back into the office after doing a gym session. So how much water did I lose to affect my performance this much? You can see the drop-off here in fluid. Now, yeah. you'd lost 0.83% of your body weight by lunch. And what we can see, well, actually, the best visual for your final fluid loss... Aha, uh -huh, here we go. ..would be here. This is your fluid loss for the day. Well, that seems 900 like... 900 mils. 900, that seems like quite a lot, doesn't it? But 900 mils is only four glasses, even after what I went through today. I'd have to sweat as much again overnight to need eight glasses, and that's ignoring the fact we get almost half of our water from the food that we eat. So do we have to drink eight glasses a day? Well, even on a day like mine, it's more than enough. 